Hi everyone, myself Navya Taravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic data on external storage. And my overview of presentation includes what is uh, data on external storage, file organization, about the concept of file organization and the types of file organizations. So, we have many number of file organizations. That means how we can able to store the data in a database. So, in that, in that types, let us discuss one of the file organization technique that is nothing but sequential file organization. Okay. So, let us discuss first about what is data on external storage. The storage system in a DBMS refers to hierarchical arrangement of storage devices and media to store, manage and retrieve data efficiently. So, here the storage management which is uh, represented in a hierarchical manner, arrangement. Okay. So, to retrieve the data uniquely and the system is designed to handle different storage capacities, access speeds and volatility and costs. So, here for example, let us consider uh, storage devices like primary memory, secondary memory. Uh, it, those may vary in terms of speed and cost. Right. So, those terminologies will be dealt in this concept. The storage hierarchy typically has multiple levels, each with its specific characteristics. So, it has many number of levels, multiple levels with its own characteristics. So, this typical hierarchy from the fastest to the slowest. Let us discuss from fastest to the slowest. That is what the hierarchy we just represent now. So, usually most expensive per byte and the slowest is usually very least expensive per byte. So, the first one is about registers. So, located within the CPU, central processing unit and the smallest and the fastest type of storage, right, used to hold data currently being processed. Whatever the data that we use to process, then we can hold the data in a, in a specific registers, right. So, which are enabled in the CPU. Next, the cache memory. Here we have the levels like L1, L2, L3 caches, right? The levels of the cache memory, which is uh, very close to the CPU, extremely fast but small in size. Processing speed is very fast but small in size. That means the storage capacity is very little. Acts as a buffer for frequently used data. That means if we want to retrieve or if we want to use whatever the data frequently, those data will be in a cache memory. So, we must not go to the main memory. Again, we need to search and again we retrieve the data that is not needed. So, if at all the data, whatever the data has been accessed frequently, that will be stored in the cache memory. Let us discuss this one with a simple example that is, so if if at all we have Wink or Spotify music apps, right? So, in that, if I want to listen the songs, so what we will do? Uh, first of all, we used to search the songs like, first of all, we used to choose the language. Then we will go for the movie name and again in that movie name, we used to search. So, every time it is not possible, right? Because of time being or else. So, if at all we used to create a playlist, then from next time we used to directly go for the playlist why because we need to access those elements frequently we need to listen those songs frequently so that is the basic example for the cache memory just like a playlist okay next main memory that is nothing but ram so data that's actively being used or processed is loaded here faster than the secondary storage the processing speed is very much faster Okay, faster than the secondary storage and volatile in nature. So, what is here volatile is nothing but if at all uh, due to some power failure. So, we are accessing some of the data and the data will be lost. That is what the major drawback in main memory. So, what is the flash storage here? That is nothing but SSDs like solid storage drives. Right, no moving parts, faster than the traditional hard drives and more durable and reliable. The next is nothing but magnetic disk that is hard disk drives, right, shortly HDD, primary, secondary storage medium, non-volatile, that means if at all the power is lost, then we may not lost our data, it will be there, right. So, data is stored in the tracks, sectors and cylinders, slower than the main memory but offers a large storage capacity at lower cost. So, here the processing uh, speed 
right is is uh, very slow but the storage capacity is very uh, very high optical disc that is cd dvd and blu ray data is read using lasers data is read using lasers slower than magnetic disc and usually have less storage capacity and portable and commonly used for media and software distribution these are nothing but how we can able to store the data right so uh, in an hierarchical manner so what is the magnetic tapes here in this the magnetic tapes sequential access storage unlike this which are random access that means magnetic tapes we use to store the data in a sequential manner if at all we want to store in a random manner so we may not next often used for backups and achieving due to their high capacity and low cost and much lower access times compared to magnetic disks whatever we discussed in our previous slide and the next one is remote storage or cloud storage based upon the internet right data stored in remote servers and accessed over the internet provide scalability availability and fault tolerance latency depends upon the network speed and distance to servers so these are nothing but different types of uh, uh, storage devices from uh, what high cost to low cost or high speed to low speed till now we have discussed many types of uh, storage mediums now what are the types of storages let us discuss the first one is primary storage so what is that one which includes this primary storage includes registers cache memory which we have discussed uh, individually in our previous slides those the first five category comes under primary storage right registers uh, cache memory and main memory okay that is nothing but ram it is the it is the main memory where the operating system application programs and data in current use are kept for quick access right by the computer's processor so if we want to access the data elements then the processing speed in the primary storage will be very fast and the secondary storage but here the storage capacity is low okay processing speed is high the storage capacity is low in the secondary storage encompasses data storage devices like hdds ssds cds usb drives which we have discussed in our previous slides so it is non volatile this is what the important point that means whenever the data is stored in a secondary storage so we may not lose the data okay and retains data even when the computer is turned off we can retain that data even when the uh, computer is turned off that is what the ba basic advantage of secondary storage device but this one is volatile volatile means if if at all we are processing some data if at all we used to gone through some power failure issues then whatever the data that we are processing it may lost next the third type is the storage devices is about the tertiary storage or offline storage so what is this one often involves magnetic tape systems or optical disk right this is slower than the above storage devices secondary storage devices this is very slower than the secondary storage and is used for data archiving and backup mostly this tertiary storage or offline storage is used for backup right if we want uh, the data and whatever the data that we are going to perform or else we used to perform and if at all uh, we may know we may not want the data in future then we used to back up the data so that backup will be done by using these tertiary storage devices next the last one is quaternary storage so refers to methods like cloud storage or other remote storage techniques where data is stored in remote servers data is stored in remote servers and we can access those uh, uh, data through online through internet and is fetched over the internet or other networks these are the different types of which we have discussed four types of storage devices now let us discuss about what is the graphical representation or else in terms of speed and in terms of capacity as i already told you primary memory is very much faster in a processing speed right it is very much high but it is what the capacity is very low to for storing the data secondary memory which is faster than tertiary memory and the capacity is what some more uh, okay than primary memory and tertiary memory so the, in the terms of capacity and speed we can able to represent the representation diagrammatic representation like this in a simple 
uh, way. Next, the concept about file organization. That means how the files can be organized. Here, file means nothing but the records. Right. We used to deal with in all our previous sessions, we used to deal with relational database. That means the data is stored in the form of relations or tables. So, in those tables, we used to store the data in the form of records. Records means here tuples. Clear? So, here what is file organization? File organization refers to arrangement of data on storage devices. The method chosen can have profound effect on the efficiency of various database operations. So, in simple terms, storing the files in certain order is called as file organization. That means organizing the files in a sequential way or in a random way. Right. So, these are different. We have many number of file organizations. That means we can store the files or records in many ways. Let us discuss the types of file organizations in our next sessions. Okay. The file, what is the file here? The file is a collection of records. The types of file organizations. What are the types of file organizations here? So, the first one is sequential file organization. These are some of the file organizations. Heap file organization, hash file organization, B plus tree file organization and clustered file organization. So, in our sessions, let us discuss all about these file organizations and especially in this session, let us discuss about only sequential file organization. The name itself represents, we used to store the files in a sequential manner, that is in a step by step process, right. Let us discuss this one in brief manner. So, what is sequential file organization? The easiest method for file organization is sequential method. It is what a very easiest method to store the files. In this method, the files are stored one after the another in a sequential manner. Okay. There are two ways to implement this method. What are those two ways? Pipe file method and sorted file method. These are the two ways which are represented in sequential file organization. Let us discuss about pipe file method first. What is this method? This method is quite simple in which we store the records in a sequence. Sequence means one after the other. Okay. So, the first record will be stored. Later on, the second record will be stored after the first record. Later on, the third record in a sequential manner, the files will be stored one after the other and in order in which they are inserted into the tables. That means first row will be inserted, later on second row will be inserted, later on third row will be inserted in that manner. Okay. So, this is what nothing but the starting of the file, this is nothing but end of the file. That means the first row is inserted, later on the third row, later on the fifth row and later on R4 has been inserted. Okay. These are nothing but records, R1, R3, R5, R4 records. Records means here the rows in a particular table. Okay. Have to insert a new record in into this organization that is nothing but pipe file organization. Let us discuss with a simple example here. So, let R1, R3 and so on up to R5 and R4 be the four records in the sequence. See, this is already existing file. These are the records which are there in the file. Okay. Here records are nothing but the row in any table. Records are nothing but the row. Suppose a new record R2 has to be inserted. For example, this record I want to insert R2. Okay. To be inserted in a sequence, then it is simply placed at the end of the file. What is here end of the file? This is what the end of the file. That means here R2 will be placed after R4 only. Let us discuss this one. Is It is a table. Okay. So, first R1 has been inserted. Later on, R3 has been inserted. Later on, R5 has been inserted. Next, R4. Next, I have to insert R2. Where it will be inserted? After R4. In a sequential manner, the records will be inserted. Okay. That is what. What is sorted file method? The previous one we have discussed about pipe file method. The records are stored in a sequential manner. What is sorted file method? So, in this method, as the name itself suggests, whenever a new record has to be inserted, it is always inserted in a sorted manner, either ascending or descending manner. The name itself represents. 
See here sorted. Sorting means what? Either ascending order or descending order. That means if at all we used to insert a data, that, in, that data will be inserted according to a particular order, either ascending or descending. Clear? So, sorting of records may be based on any primary key or any other key. So, how we can able to sort? By using key, a primary key or by using any other key. Okay. So, here in SQL, let us, we use uh, what order by, order by ASC. That means, we used to uh, represent or we used to display the elements in an ascending order. Right. Or order by, order by DSC. That means, descending order. We used to represent the elements in a descending order from big to small. Ascending means from small to big. So, if at all this is an existing table R1, R3, R7, R8. I want to insert a new record R2. Where it will be inserted? So, this will be inserted in between R1 and R3. Why? Because here we are following what method? Sorted file method. That means here the comparison will be done. The comparison will be done linearly one by one and it be used to swap the records. Okay. So, let us assume that there is a pre-existing sorted sequence of four records R1, R3 and so on up to R7, R8. Suppose a new record R2 has to be inserted in the sequence, in the sequence, in this sequence. Then it will be inserted at the end of the file and then it will sort in the sequence. That means from here R2 we used to compare these two. Okay. So, next again if at all this is small then we used to, we used to replace these two. Okay, we used to interchange the places. And next, here we used to compare the resultant one with this one. That means whatever the comparisons will be done and it must be placed in a sorted manner. That means after sorting, we used to get here what R2 in between R1 and R3. So, this is what the, how we can able to uh, specify or uh, how we can able to insert a records in a particular file. So, what we have discussed in this session? So, we have discussed about storage devices, storage devices and this session is about exclusively how the data is stored on external devices, right? So, storage devices in this we have discussed about the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. These are the four types of uh, storage devices that we have uh, discussed and later on we used to discuss about uh, what uh, file organizations and what is a file organization, what is a file, file is nothing but a set of records just like uh, uh, tuples in a table, okay. And next we have discussed about the types of file organizations. So, we have different types of file organizations in that what is the first one sequential file organization heap file organization hash file organization b plus tree file organization and clustered file organization in this session we have discussed only about sequential file organization and especially in that sequential file organization we have discussed the two ways in sequential file organization that is the first one is what the pipe file method and the second one is sorted file method. In pipe file method, the data will be kept or else the new record is inserted at the end of the file. And in sorted file method, the data will be inserted from the end of the file, but we used to what sort, but we used to sort and that record will be placed in an appropriate manner. So, in this session, we have discussed all these things. In the later sessions, we used to discuss about heap file, hash file, B plus tree, clustered file, organizations and indexing. Thank you.